right, good morning, everybody. Time to go out and take a full car wash. You really can't beat this interior. It's tough to beat this. And there's some gum right there. If anybody has any advice on how to get that out, you know, feel free to help me out. All right, today I'm gonna go get a car wash. All right, put the hand sanitizer right here. Gonna put that on now, and I'm gonna talk about this. Okay, this jet performance module that wasn't even planning on buying it, and I'll tell you how that happened. All right, but first I'm gonna go wash this. All right, so here's the deal. I love YouTube. I really do. I watch YouTube videos more than I watch regular TV, more than I watch Netflix. I'm either learning something or just being entertained. Mostly what I watch is like workout videos and car videos, okay? So I used to have a, uh, a Dodge Challenger RT, okay? I modded that thing up. Everything I did to that car was because of the things that I learned on YouTube, okay? There's a ton of content on the Challenger, a ton of content, Challenger, Chargers, Mustangs. All right. Well, now I own a Durango RT, all right? And of course, I go to YouTube and I start looking up like modifications and stuff that people have done to the uh, Durango RT. There's really not a lot of videos on modifications on this car. There's, there's a lot of muffler deletes, resonator deletes, um, couple people did headies you know um but they don't really talk much about it okay so here i am with a durango rt i'm gonna be modding this thing up i already did a little bit so i figured let me make some content on it for people to see because a lot of people are just doing like external mods on on, on these these trucks like uh 22 inch rims stripes um front spoilers and all that stuff uh, people don't really want to do performance mods on it because it is a heavy truck and it's not going to be that fast well me i want my rt to have just a little bit more balls than what it already does so if you want to see some mods that i'm going to be doing i guess stay tuned okay so real quick what i already have done to the truck is I got the Violet uh, cold air intake. I installed that. And I got the uh, the Corsa full cap back exhaust, okay? I'll do like a review on both of them. I wish I um, would have started this when I did those two mods. I would have uh, recorded videos on it, but whatever, too late now. And I also got this Jet Performance module chip that plugged into the PCM of the car okay <laughs> I think is that thing is great actually so I, I, I'm gonna talk about that too and uh, yeah so that's that all right stay tuned all right so here's the deal on this uh, jet performance chip that uh, that gets attached to the PCM of your car and I guess it does like a bass tune or something but what I really want to compare it to is when I got my uh, Diablo tuner and PCM for my 15 Challenger and did the bass uh, 93 octane tune I remember when I first uh, installed the tune I put the uh, I started the Challenger and the exhaust was the first thing I noticed and it sounded a bit more aggressive and, and, and deeper. And yes, the car had some gains, okay? But keep in mind that tuner was $600 and the PCM was also $600, very expensive. Later on, I went and got, uh, I mean like way later, I went and got um, a custom tune from Hemi Fever, which made a big difference. But the jet performance chip that I just put on my Durango, which sells for 339 on the website, I believe, 
I got a 400 bucks. I didn't even know about this thing. I got a $400. I drove uh, a little over three hours to go pick up some American Racing headers from somebody on Facebook Marketplace that was selling. I have them now. I will be installing those. And as I'm looking at the headers, the guy's like, he comes out and he shows me the box. He's like, dude, I'll sell you this for 100 bucks. It does this, this, and that. And I'm like, oh, is that like the... Um, the pedal commander because I was thinking about getting the pedal commander okay and he's like no it's a little different but it it does improve some throttle response and and a lot more I'm like fuck it I'll buy it. it's a hundred dollars so I drove three hours home I installed it and it did exactly I think it did a little bit more than what that Diablo tune did to my Challenger okay around 3,000 rpms this thing really woke up, like, big time, okay? So, it's kind of like you're now constantly driving in sport mode, all right? And then when you put it in sport mode, it's like, it's another sport mode on top of that. So, um, I think it was well worth, definitely well worth 100 bucks. You don't have to pay 339 to get this, okay? That website's always doing sales. They're always doing like 25% off, blah, blah, blah. They recently had an Easter 35% off. And yes, I took advantage of that. I like this jet performance thing so much that I'm like, fuck it. I'll get the jet fast man throttle body. So I bought that, saved 200 bucks from the 35% off and I bought the Jet Accelerator which is their version of the Pedal Commander okay I, I'm a fan of Jet products now because I think this module thing chip you know really worked so that's coming in I'll let you know when that stuff comes in I'll do a, a review on them and, uh, and then I'm just going to show you guys what the install was like for this uh, jet chip. And if you want to wake up your Durango 5.7 a little bit, you don't want to go and get a new PCM and a tuna, which yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that through H, uh, H, HP tunes and have Genetic Racing tune my car once I get uh, the head is installed. Maybe uh, a 6.4 intake manifold uh, as well. Okay, but for now, this was awesome. And uh, all right, I'll show you guys where it goes. So I'm gonna tell you guys how this jet chip was installed. I'm not gonna show you because I did it already. I'm not gonna undo it and uh, and do it again, okay? But uh, first thing you're gonna do, let me just throw that there, is disconnect the negative of your battery. So I'll show you that real quick. Is The battery on the Durango is located under the passenger seat. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll uh, you'll roll the seat all the way up, lift this mat. Can you see that panel right there? Just lift it up. You got on each side one, two, and in the back three, four. Like these little clips that hold it in. Just lift it up. You'll be fine. You're not going to break it. The battery's underneath there. You're going to need a small ratchet, and you'll just loosen up the uh, the clamp and take it off. Okay. Once that's off, then you could start. All right, let's walk around. All right. So just real quick, that's the cold air intake that I got. That was a super easy install. There's a, there's a video on YouTube showing you how to do it. 
I'll talk more about this in another video. But today is the chip. Okay, you see this right here? That's, well, that, that's the connection port. It's right in here. Okay, where my finger is touching. See how it is? Get underneath there. There's nothing in between it, so it's a chip that goes in between the connection and the computer itself. This piece comes off. I guess this is just like a rain guard, but it, it's a bitch to get off. It's just clamped on, and all you really got to do is pull it. It will come off, all right? And then there's a few bolts, like right here, you have to undo. Um, and once you get this off, you'll see other bolts that you gotta uh, you gotta get out. You have to take the PCM completely out. You gotta take it out. It is too hard to clip that uh, performance chip in the PCM uh, by just doing it from here. You gotta you gotta take the PCM out, put it on a flat surface, and really push down and get that connection good. All right, and then you throw these back on. Now, all right. What's important is that chip, when you undo the PCM, you got a gray um, portion, connection part to the PCM, and a beige, I don't know if you could see it, and a beige portion um, of the PCM, okay? It, it, it's right there. The chip goes on the beige portion, all right? At least on the 2019, you might want to call Jet Performance and ask them uh, first before you do it on whatever year or model you have okay then I was able to put these connections back on put everything back and that was it like that was it uh, I turned the car on I let the battery charge oh yeah okay so make sure you connect the battery <laughs> put the negative back to the battery and um, I let the car run for a little bit before I took it out for a test drove but I'm telling you man once you drive this car and, and, and you do some pulls, you're going to realize the difference with that, uh, with that chip. I think it was worth the money. So let me know what you guys think. I'll make, I'm going to make more videos. I'll talk about this guy right here. I'll talk about the Catback uh, Corsa exhaust that I have. Um, I have the Jet throttle body coming in the mail. Hopefully it comes soon. So that I'll be installing myself. I'll, I'll make a video on me installing that. And to tell you the truth, I'm going to have to take this apart. So it might help you a little bit if you're going to install this on your own. Uh, this was a perfectly good intake. I liked it a lot. So can't wait for the throttle body to come in and the jet accelerator, which is just a throttle accelerator. I heard that works well. And... Uh, yeah, I'll do a review on that. Other than that, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy. Until next time.